My name is Jennifer Kirkendall Griffin. I'm running for Suwannee County Judge. In today's installment of SCALES, or Suwannee County Access to Legal Education series, a program I created in 2019 to help educate our community on the law, I'm going to be discussing determination of homestead status. What is required to qualify for homestead and what does it mean for the heirs? So the decedent's homestead property is protected from the claims of creditors under Article 10, Section 4 of the Florida Constitution. But to be protected, there is certain criteria that must be met. The decedent must be a Florida resident, must have been a Florida resident, which makes sense because in the petition you have to verify, meaning swear, that the decedent owned and resided on the property at death. If the property is inside the city limits, then the protected portion can be no larger than one half acre. If it's outside city limits, then it can't be any more than 160 acres. If the decedent dies intestate, then the property passes in the same order that I talked about in the video addressing intestate property. Where it can get tricky is if the decedent left a will and then the will leaves the homestead property to someone that is not in the protected class, such as a friend rather than a relative. Now I've seen it happen on multiple occasions where the decedent leaves the property to a significant other, but they weren't married. So then that property then became subject to the claims of creditors. I've also seen last wills and testaments that direct the personal representative to sell the property and then divide it equally between the children. Now I get it. I understand the sentiment and the intention behind that, but that's where getting proper legal advice is so important because under case law, if a will directs the property to be sold and then the proceeds to be divided, the property loses that homestead protection. As the general magistrate, I have reviewed thousands of probate cases. And another common mistake that I see is that the property description is not included in the petition. You just put an address, 123 Main Street, and then ultimately the legal description is not in the order. So make sure to have a copy of your deed and the complete property description so that can be included in the petition. Another interesting point to note is that the Constitution specifically states that the homestead shall not be subject to devise if the owner is survived by spouse or minor child, except the homestead may be devised to the owner's spouse if there be no minor child. Because of that language, all petitions for determination of homestead status need to include whether or not the decedent was survived by a spouse or minor child. Now this has been a broad overview of what determination of homestead status is. Next week I'm going to be discussing exempt property. If you found this information useful or you know somebody that could benefit from it, please like and share and follow the campaign social media. If you have a particular topic you'd like me to address, send a message through the campaign social media or website and I'd be happy to film a video on the topic. Just remember that I can't speak about specific facts, but I can speak in an educational manner. If you ever miss an installment of SCALES, visit the campaign website to see all of the SCALES videos that are available. And remember, on August 23rd, 2022, I'm asking you to vote for me. Jennifer Kirkendall Griffin for Swanee County Judge.